So you're going to hear a lot about having a toolbox, a metaphoric toolbox, where inside that toolbox you have all these different kinds of tools that you can put into play when you do a solo. Hey everyone, Zach here from Pro Sex Tips. Hope everyone is doing great. On this video, I'm going to be discussing how to have interesting improv solos. Please, um, I appreciate it if you click the like and the subscribe button if you haven't done that already. And also the bell to let you know when uh, my next video is coming out. So you're going to hear a lot about having a toolbox, a metaphoric toolbox, where inside that toolbox you have all these different kinds of tools that you can put into play when you do a solo. Um, so let's just start pulling tools out and I will start demonstrating them. One thing is dynamics. You don't want to be one level, one volume throughout your whole solo. You want to create interest for the listener. So one dynamic tool is an echo. You play a line and then you play a variation of that line or a line very similar with a different dynamic contrast against it. So that's one example. Another tool is trills. You can put these in sporadically just to help create motion in your solo line. Um, in this example, I'll go from a concert F to a concert F sharp. And at the end there was a false fingering trill Another example is adding vibrato, and you've already heard me play vibrato already, but here I'll kind of more point it out. So we have vibrato in there. Another tool is bending, dropping your jaw and bending the pitch out of tune. So that's a bend. Um, another one is a gruppetto or a turn. And there's two ways of doing it. Um, there's starting on the note you're going to start your turn on. And then you're going to go to the next note in your scale. Back to the note that you started on. To the note below it, lower neighbor, back to your starting note again. Or you can do the reverse, instead of going starting at your target note and going up to the next note, you start your target note and then you go down first. So then you start then you start with your target note, down to the lower neighbor, back to your target note, up, upper neighbor note, back to your target note. So you have two different kinds. Or and I'll put a little bit in there in the solo. So those are turns. Another tool that you can pull out of your toolbox is false fingerings. Um, one of the most common ones of the false fingers is A. And putting down any combination of your 
right hand fingers, it's going to give you a altered pitch, altered tone of that note. So anything within there, you can implement into your solo to make this, you know, create a little bit more interest in the, in what you're playing. So there's using A. Another one would be palm D. Instead of playing three and three for D with the octave, you can use just your palm key. You know, there's another example right there. Another one would be B. For me, on my soprano, I can play regular B with the first finger and then put the third finger down back and forth to give you a little bit altered tone to the to the B natural. So that's uh, another alternate fingering that you can do for that. Um, so just experiment and kind of figure out which ones can give you different sounds. Um, use your low C fingering or low C sharp or low B or low B flat and use the harmonic there for an altered tone. You're gonna hear in a lot of saxophones out there doing a lot of that kind of stuff using harmonics as an altered fingering for, um, for usual fingerings. Another uh, tool that you can do is a growl. And a growl is kind of like gargling while you're playing. Or if you can roll your R's, that's another way to growl through the saxophone. Now I'm way over exaggerating that. Um, so if I put it into a solo, So there's many tools still left to go, but I think for this video, that's more than enough for you to start experimenting with and start implementing into your solos. Now, I'm not saying you have to implement every single thing into your solos every time, but bringing in some of those tools here and there is going to give you a little bit more flexibility. It's going to create more interest. Um, people are going to... Um, take notice to some of those things that keeps their attention. Um, melody is king though. Um, don't worry, you know, if you just throw a whole bunch of flashy tricks and tip, uh, if you throw a whole bunch of different tricks from your toolbox into your solo and don't have anything to say except all these little flashes in the pan, then you're not really saying anything at all. They're just ornamentations. They're just little extra things that you can throw in there once in a while to make a solo more exciting. Well, that's it for now. I hope you liked the video. If you did so, please um, appreciate it if you click the like and the subscribe button if you haven't done that already. And also the bell to let you know when uh, my next video is coming out. And I'll see you guys next time.